Mega Scam Pro. The most powerful gold and treasures detector. Mega Scam Pro, the most powerful gold and treasures detector. The Mega Scam Pro is the latest and the most sophisticated in the world and is working on 10 programs for long term scanning. two programs for magnetic measurement. And a program for ionic scanning and measurement. That means in a total of 13 programs in the electronic circuit, which is the most recent ever. The device uses ARM processors and 4.3 inch TFT LCD display screen. The main body of the device is made of high-quality ABS plastics. Parts and components of the device. Waterproof case. Main control unit of the device. Scanner antennas. Headphones. Parabolic antenna. Auto charging adapter. Charging adapter. Adapter cable. Mini sensor for ionic scanning. Depth measurement unit. Super sensor, magnetometer. User manual. Main control unit explanations. Signal boosting sensors. Charging indicator LED. Charge jack connector, battery box, laser on off button, laser beam, search antennas, parabolic antenna, control panel explanations, on off button, down button. The frequency setting can be accessed by pressing and holding the button. Up button. Sound can be muted by pressing and holding the button. Enter or selection button. Left button. The screen brightness can be controlled by pressing and holding the button. Right button. You can return to the previous menu by long pressing the same button. Button to switch between magnetometer modes 
The magnetometer system and the ionic system can be reset by pressing and holding the button. After pressing on power button, the following screen will display. Brand screen, model name screen, language selection menu. Due to the widespread of the device, the device has been equipped with eight international languages allowing any user to use the device easily. Search systems menu. You can choose the appropriate system and then press the enter button on the control panel. Megascan Pro contains three search systems. Long range locator system, ionic system, magnetic measurement system, magnetometer. To use long range locator system, the device is set up as following. The antennas are connected to the main unit of the device. Then the antennas are pulled out to its maximum length possible. The antenna balance can be adjusted from the top of the antenna by rotating it right and left until the height is same between the two antennas. We turn on the device by pressing the power button. After selecting the language from Languages menu, we select Long Range Locator System. After selecting Long Range Locator System, the Targets menu in the device will appear. Then the user can select the appropriate target by pressing the Enter button. After selection of the target, the program loading screen will appear. The long range locating screen will show the name of the program that we have chosen with the table of distances and depths. Switching between distances and depths through up and down buttons. You can change the precise frequency setting by pressing and hold down button until hearing a different tone and changing the value with the right and left buttons, the user can increase or decrease the frequency to 12 Hz. The increment rate is 1 Hz at every press. It is preferable to leave the precise frequency on the factory default at 0. Target control with boxing method. This method allows the operator to determine the target location and to clarify the trueness of the target. A square is completed around the target with a distance of about 200 cm, 7 feet, from the target center. When the operator is at the same line with the target, the antennas turn to the target. If the target is real, the antennas should turn to the target from all four sides. Otherwise, there is a possibility that the target being not real. Very important note. While using the device to search for the following targets, diamonds, gemstones, platinum, please put the Deep Master unit in the ground in any nearby randomly area in order to properly be searching for these targets and more effectively. Measuring the depth of the target. At the highest point of the target, enter the wedges or pegs from the deep master unit about 8 cm in the ground. Set the precise frequency to 5. Select the target program from the main unit. Wait 3-4 minutes. Stand on the target and watch the antennas turn into one side. And this is the first point of signal. After moving from the target point, you will notice that the antennas will gradually move forward. Stop when the antennas turn back on one side and this is the second point of signal. The approximate depth of the target is the distance between the two signal points with the slope of 45 degrees from the second point. Several depth measurements are required from various other signal points to measure depth more accurately. The digital voltmeter on the Deepmaster shows the voltage of the battery. Ionic scan system. Ionic system use. We install the mini sensors in its socket in the device and we tighten the loop for fixation. 
We select the Ionic system from the System Selection menu, then it will show the Ionic oscillation screen. The Ionic scan system is used to detect ionic fields produced by long buried underground metals. All minerals have their own ionic fields, and this effect is increased by the increased time of minerals' presence in the ground and by the acquisition of the metal for more electrons from the surrounding environment. These effects vary depending on the metal and the different terrestrial factors in this area. This system is based on the scientific foundations of the properties of the metal and its chemical composition and the rank of metal in the periodic table of metals. The Ionic scan system enables the user to capture signals from these fields from long distances and alert the user when approaching them. This powerful system in Megascan Pro delivers more success to prospectors and treasure hunters. Calibration and using of Ionic scanner. When the device is turned on, please select the Ionic scan system from the system selection screen. When starting the system, please reset the system first by pressing the reset button. After calibrating the device, start moving left, right and a few times up and down slightly as you walk with the device. When the device detects a target, it will make a synchronous sound alert with the appearance of vibrations in the search screen. And the more powerful the signal, the higher the sound alarm and the more vibrations will be on the search screen. The Ionic system can be used to search from different positions in areas high or low from the ground surface. This system is not affected by the speed of walking with the device at all. Magnetism measurement. Magnetometer. Install the super sensor which is used to measure the magnetism of the ground. And then install the headphones into its jack in the device. Turn the device on. The language selection screen appears and the search system selection screen appears. We select the magnetic measurement system, magnetometer, by pressing enter button. Upon entry, the device will be automatically referred to MAG1 system and can be moved to MAG2 by pressing the magnetometer button once on the right side of the control panel. Before the start of search, you must reset the device and this is done by long pressing on the magnetometer button. Also, the device must be positioned vertically toward the ground. Of course, this process must also take place in an area free of minerals. To make sure the work is correct, press the reset button more than once. Until the device is idle and does not give any signals or vibrations, and the indicator is at its lowest level, then you can start checking the area that you want. As we pass over spaces or metals, the signal level on the screen will increase. and you will also hear an increase in the sound vibrations directly. In this system, if you hold the device diagonally and do not make the super sensor perpendicular to the ground, we can therefore get the wrong result. Therefore, the super sensor must be perpendicular to the ground.
You can increase and decrease magnetic sensitivity according to train conditions using left and right arrows buttons. You can also control the headphones volume using a button on the headphones cable. Target Indicator The targets are indicated by the direction of the signal lines to the top. If the signal is weak, this means that the target is either small or far from the ground surface. If the signal is strong, it means that the target is very close to the ground surface or that is deep but large in size. Note, always check the accuracy of the target after a signal appears on the screen. You must reset the device outside the target location by pressing the button at the far right of the control panel. If the same signal repeated, this means that the target is 100% real. To turn off the device, press the on-off button in the control panel. Some ways to maintain the device. The detector should be protected from high levels of heat and cold. The device must not place in the back of the car or under the sun on hot summer days or outdoors in a winter. Remove the device battery if you do not plan to use the device for extended periods, such as a month or more. The device must always be kept clean after each use. During the transfer of your device, Remove removable pieces of the device such as search antennas, sensors, etc. Please place the device in its bag and a specified place inside the bag and the pieces should not be